I first met Stevie, I think it was at Pier 7 in like the early 90s. Um, he would come out there and I just knew him of this kid, little Stevie, and he wrote the profile and you know, he was just like this rad kid and I, I could tell the way he skated and just how he carried himself that he was going to be something and someone in skateboarding. I started working with Blayback with Chocolate. He actually helped raise me in the sense of like, he was really, really a part of the transition of Stevie coming straight from the hood to like trying to have him to be professional. Blaves would come out to Philly and um, it would be hard to get me to skate. You know, I'd come up to either you or Josh and be like, all right, dude, like, let's do something today. And that's kind of how the switch front nose happened. You know, we were just hanging out all day, you know, at love. You know, we kind of joked about him skating one of the ledges and cleared the whole crew off the ledge and boom, he just did it. You know what I mean? It was just, that's how things happened back then. Truthfully, like, I didn't know why I had to shoot portraits. I just thought it was all about this photographer coming out to shoot skate photos. I mean, Stevie and I, we shot a lot of portraits. It was just because we were homies and, you know, he, he lived with me for like a month in LA when he first moved out to Cali and, you know, so he was just in my living room. So some of those photos were, were shot then, you know. You know, like the one, like the DC ad one was, we were at Jerron's house watching a Lakers game and just was like, yeah, let me shoot some portraits of you. And like, well, that was it, just kind of went everywhere. I was popping up on shoe boxes. I was popping up on, on, on the street in every city. Like one day I was like, what the hell? And the next day I was like, yeah, I'm all about it. He hit me up uh, not that long ago and just asked if I wanted to do something with asphalt and you know I was super into it and you know asked about using the switch heel flip we decided to reshoot it and, and kind of re redo that same thing 10 years later. A redoing the, the switch heel flip 10 years later it felt uh, it was fun it was it was I understood it more because <laughs> you were like what's this guy yeah doing? before I was like what the hell are we doing yo and and to see the impact of it and then to do it again, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else, you know, at all. That's Blabe's switch hill flip, <laughs> straight up.